shooting the mundane, I have had a lot of questions of people asking me, well, you can shoot in beautiful places and you can shoot um, this and that and you have access to a lot of amazing places, which I do in California. It's pretty great and it's pretty nice. But what if you don't have access to all those things? What if you don't have access to a high-end camera? What do you do in those cases? That's what this video is all about. I've got a basic Canon AE-1. I do have portrait in here, which the price of portrait has gone up, so it's not necessarily a cheap film stock anymore. But um, you could do this with any film, um, you know, any Kodak Gold or whatever. But even though I'm looking over there, there's the beach. It's very pretty. I'm gonna reveal some tips in this video to help you guys shoot better in mundane, regular, and um, just basic environments. It's hard to see it in this video because I have a wide angle lens on, but that is more rock and that is the Pacific Ocean. It's very pretty right here. How can you make something like buildings or something like cars or anything like that? How can you make those look more interesting? Tip number one, shoot in good light. It is about 30 minutes before sunset. This is golden hour and it's peak golden hour not like the start of it, like 45 or an hour before sunset. Peak golden hour, the light is very nice. I'm gonna try to look around and try to find some interesting stuff in a just regular neighborhood and tell you what I'm looking at, help you guys. So shooting in good light is where it's at. The light's gonna be hitting on some of these buildings and I'm gonna look for those shadows. I'm gonna look for interesting lines and I'm gonna help you out with that. I'm just seeing this light come through and it's kind of framed through these buildings. This is just a basic brick stanchion here. I think this looks interesting with the flowers in this tree right here. You can kind of come in and get an interesting angle right here and you can kind of get these stanchions in the front and maybe these flowers and this in the foreground that might look really cool. So let's try that. Another thing in a scenario like this is this is actually pretty dark and this is pretty bright. So you wanna always make sure you are exposing for the shadows. I've said it in a lot of videos, I just never trust the light meters on these things. Like, look at this thing. Look at that, just has a huge dent in it. You think I'm gonna trust that thing? No. So this is something that's in California, just poppies. I know poppies are a beautiful thing um, and you know, they're here. So it is like, okay, well that's in California, but um, there's flowers in every town in this country. So it's springtime, like stop and look at flowers, take pic pictures of flowers. Like you can really find something that's really interesting in your hometown, like these flowers. Oh and like those cones too. So a trick here, get down, get down low with it. Focus on this one in the foreground and this in the background and you'll have a really nice image. Put it down here at the bottom right, try to use your rule of thirds and get it. Gotta get down in there. Let's see if we can make the garden hose look cool. We got fun light in the back. Again, you won't even see the Pacific Ocean. That is down there, that's pretty, but you're just getting the golden light from the sunset. So let's make this garden hose look awesome. I don't know if I've talked about it, but I'm shooting on a 50 1.8. So a pretty basic lens that comes with this Canon AE-1 and yeah. I actually think that's gonna look really good. Let's try to shoot some of these houses that are in sun right now. So tip number two, and we've already been doing it, is shoot something wacky. Shoot something that you wouldn't normally shoot. Like you don't have to shoot a person, you don't have to shoot a fancy car, you don't have to shoot a house. You can shoot a cone. You can shoot anything. Just like find something that has an interesting angle, an interesting shape. Like look at this bush right here. Like that's interesting. How can we shoot it? There is a spider web and you can kind of frame it with the two edges of this bush. Let me show you what I mean. So you can kind of frame it here and there. In the center, there's a spider web. You can get some awesome shots like that. Here's another tip for you guys, is to shoot something close up, get in there. I know we've done that already a little bit, but 
this is gonna be great for this giant aloe bush. Like again, some people don't have aloe bushes, but there's other trees and bushes that you can get that have depth like this. If you get up close to the front and let the back of it slide in and show that depth, it's pretty awesome. Tip number four is to try to find light hitting things in an interesting spot. Now, again, <laughs> I know the mundane and the cactuses, and I know that's not what you guys have, but there's cactuses right here that are really cool and their light's hitting it. I think that's really awesome. And the way that it's hitting it is really interesting. So let's see if we can get a good shot of that. I also love negative space, so framing something like this wouldn't just be like a big wide shot. It would be something like right at the top there. Also, the backlighting from the sunset will look really cool on these prickles. And there's things like that you can see on bushes. So when the light's hitting, sometimes that backlighting looks really good. And that's another bonus tip right there. And I mean, I'm out here. I have to get that palm tree way out there. I just have to. Uh, okay, I'm gonna shoot some of these houses. Obviously an interesting house like that one is not in some of y'all's neighborhoods, but I'm gonna shoot some of these other ones. And the last tip for this is when I'm shooting houses, I like to look for lines. I keep things horizontal vertical i look for some negative space anything that's interesting in architecture i try to capture that so let's capture that for the last images and go check out all these images at home guys so much for watching this video and supporting the channel and i hope you guys learned something about shooting in the mundane shooting just around your house i hope that my videos can inspire you to get out um, and in the cool places i go but also i want you guys to get out and shoot wherever you are you don't have to take a dope trip you don't have to go do anything crazy you just have to get out of your house and go shoot so grab your camera get out of the house and go shoot something awesome and share those images with me i want to see those and write down in the comment what I should take photos of next. See y'all.